Hello everyone, my name is Oi Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install a fully modded Cubicore 5M server automatically using my company, HDNetwork.1. What you guys are going to want to do is hit the link down in the description below, which will take you to the HD Network Cubicore Platinum Pro package. From here, if we scroll on down and take a look at the package preview, it's going to show you some of the scripts that we include, which look absolutely awesome. It's a bunch of custom Cubicore scripts. And under the additional scripts section, there are some even more scripts. And then in this section right here, the HD Network one click auto installer section, it shows you what our HD Network application looks like. No other website has this. This is solely developed by HD Network and for HD Network exclusively. And this will install all of our mods and our 5M server for us automatically. So, what you guys are going to want to do, scroll on up and order the package. Once you guys have done that, instantly you guys will be given the package and access to it. So, just go to your account. Select the package under your active products and services and just click manage. Go to the download section and click the download link to download the package. It will take you to an external download place. That's because at the minute we're working on, on our own internal download location and that'll be coming in a week or so time. But at the minute, if we do do it internally, it'll probably crash the site. So that's why we're taking you to an external location. But once you guys have downloaded the package, open the download on up and it'll come as a zip. Inside of here, all we're going to need are these two files right here, the HD Network install package folder and the exe. Minimize to our desktop, grab the HD Network install package folder and the exe and drag and drop it to our desktop. From here, we can close the zip on down. I'm going to bring these to the center of the screen so you guys can see them more clearly. First thing we're going to want to do is double click the exe. It'll pop up with a setup wizard. I'm going to hit next. Next again. Make sure you allow it to create a desktop icon. Hit next and let it automatically install the application for you. Once it is done, it's going to say it's completed installing and all you need to do is hit finish and you guys will see a new icon on our desktop right here. And this is the shortcut to actually start the application. So to save confusion, let's delete the exe. From here, the next steps is going to be double clicking this application to start it on up. It's going to ask you to allow it to run with administrative privileges. Just hit yes. And now it's going to ask for a product key. So to get that, come back on over to the HD Network website. Go back into your account and select the HD Network Cubicle Planner Pro package. Go under downloads to view keys. And from here, you can grab yourself the key that was assigned to you at the time of purchase. Just copy it exactly as shown and paste it into the application and just hit verify. So it'll tell you that the product verification is successful and it's going to ask you to restart the program. So just hit OK, close the application and start it back on up again and just hit yes again. From here, the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go to the second settings down here called options. If you hover over each one, it'll tell you what they actually are. And then we're going to click this guy right here, 5M artifacts. Click it once and in a couple of seconds, it's going to create a 5M server for you. It's going to download the latest 5M server artifacts and put it all into the correct locations for us. Click OK. And I'm going to grab this and put it into the center of our desktop again so you guys can see it. And you guys will see it's actually created the 5M server for us. Saved a bunch of time here. Double click it to open it on up, go inside of server files, scroll on down and look for the fx server.exe. Double click it to start it on up. It's going to take you to TX admin. Once you guys are on the TX admin page, you guys are going to want to hit link account and simply sign into your cfx.re account. Hit continue and make yourself a nice and secure password. Agree to the rules and just click register. From here, we're going to hit next and pick a server name. Anything you guys want, it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to do HD network video. Click next and under deployment type, we're going to select popular recipes and then we're going to select Cubicore framework. And do not mess with this at all. Just leave it as it is and click save. Go to recipe deployer, hit next, and we're going to grab ourselves a server key. So to do this, hit the green little hyperlink right here, which will take you to the key master website. Verify that you're a human and sign in to your account again. What you guys are going to want to do is grab yourself a key. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to make a new key. So come on over to this guy right here, a new server. Name it wherever you guys want. It literally doesn't matter. I'm not a robot and generate the key. Copy it. Come back on over to TX Admin. And just before we hit Run Recipe, what we're going to want to do is make sure we start up XAMP. So just hit Open and start MySQL and Apache. If you don't have XAMP installed, just Google it. Download the exe and just like that, you'll be done. Super simple to install and then just run MySQL and Apache. Run recipe and let it install the basic Cubicore files for us. Once it is finished, all you're going to want to do is hit next. 
scroll on down and hit save and run server and there you guys go we have set up a basic cubicle server and now to install the entire cubicle package in a couple of clicks automatically we're going to leave this running in the background because you guys will see it's going to start installing some basic things for us so we don't want to close it because it might break it so just leave it running minimize to desktop and come back on over to the cubicle platinum pro application from here what you guys are going to want to do is go to the bottom one right here select server folder we're going to click that go to the desktop and select that 5m server folder hit select folder and you guys will see it will save the server folder path to the application that's so it knows where we're installing the package from here we're going to go to this guy right here the package installer click this it's going to ask you to select the package folder so just go to your desktop and select the hd network install package folder select folder and let it install it will literally take a second or so and there you guys go successfully installed the selected package hit ok now from here we can do the fun part which is installing all of the mods it's going to be super simple and easy to do so so it's up to you how you do this if you come on over to the top one the mod list you guys can go through each one of the mods you can look at what they are before you install them and just click the button and it will automatically install each one for you same with every other one there's a whole another page here for civ vehicles we've got absolutely tons map mods go through them and install which ones you want but if you'd rather install them all in one go we can do that do not worry so come on over back to the option settings and very simply all we got to do is hit install all and you guys will see it will start installing every single one of those mods for us in literally one click depending on your internet speed and your drive speeds this could take up to 10 minutes or so bearing in mind it is downloading all these mods from the cloud and installing them all saving you tons of time and effort so just let it run in the background and go do something or just do something else on your PC and we'll come back to once it's done. Once it is finished installing all the mods, it's going to pop up saying complete and it has successfully installed the mods for you. All you got to do is hit OK and it will return to the home screen. From here, we've literally installed all of the mods automatically in one click. Super simple and easy. There's one more thing that you guys can do if you want. If you come back and over to the option settings, we can click this button right here, the port forwarding button. And literally in a second, it will create the firewall rules for us automatically and port forward for us. Now for me, with my Wi-Fi settings, I don't actually have to go into my router settings to do anything else. It's already done. Just like that, port forwarding is done and my friends can join the server. That may work for you. It might not. But if it doesn't, all you need to do is go onto your Wi-Fi settings and do the same thing, which is port forwarding on 30120 inbound and outbound rules, TCP and UDP. You can always contact your Wi-Fi provider and I'm sure they'd be happy to help you with that. But in terms of the rules on your PC, this will automatically do it for you. Super simple and easy. Now from here, we can close the HD network application on down since we are done. We can open the 5M server on up. Let's go into TX admin first and we'll give our server a restart. Hit continue and you guys will see as it's loading back in now, all of the mods will start loading in automatically that we have installed using the HD network package. But there you guys go. Everything is running and we can now join the server and I'll show you guys what it's about. Here you guys go, we are connecting to the server, loading in all the mods, and you guys will see straight away we have the custom loading screen, which you guys can customize yourself. As it says right here, you can change it in the index.html of the loading screen. And it's super easy, just use the control F function to find the words you want to change. And then you can also replace them using the control F function as well. Straight away, once we load in, we're greeted with the custom character creation. So create a new character, hit create, and name it wherever you guys want. I'll just do highway and then trooper. And then select male or female, it's up to you. Nationality is literally anything you guys want. You can literally type in anything as well, so it really doesn't make much of a difference. And then obviously do your date of birth. I'll just leave it as the default one. Hit confirm, and you'll load into the server. Pick a spawn location for your apartment. Let's spawn in here. I'm not going to waste time with creating our character just so we can skip past all of this, but you guys can customize your character here now using some of the custom EUP as well that we've added in, as long as your slot's limited to 10 or you have their Patreon subscription. Of course, we still can't give you access to 5M's Patreon because that would be illegal, but there is a free way to do it by limiting your slots to 10. Hit confirm. Let's exit the apartment here, and you guys will see already we've got a custom menu. Hit leave apartment, and the bottom left-hand corner, you guys will already see our custom HUD as well. We hit pause. We've got the custom poster map, a bunch of icons on the map. We press tab for our inventory, We've got our custom inventory as well, which looks absolutely awesome. Press M. We've also got our custom phone. And if we go on duty as police and things like that, we can also get a CAD system through here. 
and also we've got crypto and everything this is just a really really awesome package and of course if we go into the car dealerships we also have custom cars as well but if you guys do want to be able to see exactly how to use a package and everything included in it then what you guys got to do is go onto our website scroll to the bottom and click the link to join our discord server head on over to the keybinds channel and we'll have a little section which shows you all the commands keybinds some documentation and video guides on how to use your package further